Hi guys, a very warm welcome back to Motorhome and Adventures. We wanted to give you today some good to know ideas for mm. uh, preparation for going to France. Well, whatever country you're going to, whether it's here or in the UK or whether you're traveling abroad. And uh, we're preparing to go to France for six mm. weeks. And six weeks? I know, I know. Six weeks? And there's oh, a, there, are, there is quite a bit to think about before you go away for a long time. So mm. we hope to show you what we've packed um for the journey and uh, hopefully it might give you some ideas for what you might need as well it is it's yeah. getting pretty full so i will take you outside first of all show around the outside because of course it's the garage so i have to be in charge of the garage yes but then nick is very much in charge of all things well aesthetic inside the van food you name it so we've sort of split the jobs um that's and good. that's good to know yeah yes <laughs> Unless you want to be IC of tools, toolboxes. Do you want to be IC of toolboxes? Um, that's not good to know for me. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go on and have a look on the outside and you'll see what we've been up to. So, storage, packing. So, one thing I did add, um, which I've added in the last month or two, is these, um, these things. These are Fiamma. XL storage pockets um, and they just um, uh, what I've done is I've just I've got some little self tappers there so four in total on each and um, I've added I've used Sikaflex to uh, stick them down on the back because they've got these nice sort of flat pieces which allow just that and then these are tiny little sort of six mil self tappers which then just bring them in and hold it hold it really firmly um three set out they're quite uh, quite good and deep steep storage i'll put the um dimensions on the screen there um but i was sort of all those times as you do where you're looking to try and add a little bit of storage in places in uh, places where you can i was opening the doors to and fro and thinking actually that's a really big surface to uh, to be able to add storage to so went on a hunt found those xl pockets had a work out how many i could fit on on the door and then um which was five in total uh, because i use internally i use some slightly different boxes on the inside as you can see there these are slightly bigger boxes here so it meant um i wasn't going to add a third one to the bottom there but uh but yeah certainly you could get loads of bits and pieces that's all that gas stuff you may have seen in the other film the gas spanner those european gas connectors that's the spanish one fits in there a load of bungees in there um and then in terms of everything else in here well i think we're almost there you know almost there with all the big stuff anyway packed in and uh, and these stacking boxes so that's got all my sort of toilet chemicals in it the blue the green the gray waste um, fluid stuff like that that's the waste hog that we acquired um, as you'll have seen if you watched uh, one of the other films just wanted that solution let's just pop that pop that bungee off um, wanted that solution for gray waste depending on how long we're on site so and um, this one as well that's the um, that's the collapse as in there you go there's the spelling as in collapse with a Z. Um, that's the piping system. So if we're obviously only on somewhere for a night, then uh, we could carry the grey. It's a 100 litre grey on this. Um, if we are sort of a couple of three nights, then we might use the waste hog because that slides underneath and I've pre-fitted one of these external pipes onto the grey waste dropout. Um, so that it goes literally just about, uh, well, I should say this one, or this one, one or the other, I can't remember, yes, that one, the back one, it almost goes straight into that. Um, but then the final option, if we go static on a site for, say, you know, a week, 12, or longer, even 14 days, um, if the weather's looking really nice on the Med or Pyrenees or wherever, then this is the um, bit where you can push fit together the grey collapse system um, to be able to run it from the uh, grey water dropout to the drain, which uh, which are very often on pitches um, in France and Europe, they very often supply your own your own grey water waste. So that's about um, 
seven or eight meters there allowing me to hopefully get with a little bit of drop on it to uh, to any of the gray waste drains so that's us ready for that and then hiding away got a uh, big floodlight flashlight type thing external shower attachment for the uh, side of the van there and uh, oh yes and if it goes really really wrong an eight ton, uh, not the toilet roll, but <laughs> I think that could be useful if it does go wrong. Um, but but uh, even an eight ton, uh, got an eight ton tow, tow strap there, <laughs> which hopefully never sees the light of day. And the garage as well, definitely coming to its own with these, um, with those little things. Some of you may have seen uh, those before in another film when I added these. Again, exactly the same thing, but a Seeker Flex. Um, self-tapping six mil sort of self-tappers and I put uh, sort of one two three at least I put about six or seven on there um, but because we haven't got the bikes in here this year um, we're just gone with good old Peggy the scooter on the back tow bar then um, it gives me uh, it's great I've got loads more room since we've taken out the electric bikes um, so uh, kayak in there the barbecue barbecues in Supposedly, I'll be able to get to stuff that I'll need um, when we get to each stop off. But, uh, but, but the reality is that I don't think you can ever leave it truly accessible. <laughs> Screen cover and uh, mat and ramps are sort of accessible. Um, and of course, a tool or two coming with us as well. As we're away for so long, might need to do a bit of on-the-job repair work. Um, loungers in there, table chairs, you name it. So it's all uh, all packed in, all bungeed. Another yoga mat went for a Burton. Um, not that I've ever used one, but, uh, <laughs> but another yoga mat chopped up into bits for uh, a bits for bungees. Um, yeah, so garage well and truly full. Bed almost in its almost in its fully down position comes down a little bit more to the sort of stop there and um, we are transporting some of my daughter's stuff who's just emigrated to the Alps um, living there full-time working from home fantastic so it's a very good excuse to be going to France as well so some of this stuff is in here for her too which meant that we've uh, just had to lift that bed up slightly to be able to fit her stuff in so we'll be offloading a bit of that when we get there that's for sure and of course these bits are truly essentials aren't they sock hangers or whatever you care to hang on it ready on site some are buried under there just see the end of the black bag there that's our uh, rotary rotary dryer and then of course probably the most important thing in the whole van which is which is the quick release quick release ends for the barbecue to pop in to the side of the van absolutely fantastic never go anywhere without a Kadak barbecue when you're in Europe great fun but no those um, those quick release ends for both ends both onto the Kadak and onto the side of the van really handy uh, really handy to get those on and dead quick to deploy and to detach and most importantly for my eldest daughter they found out that their supply, their local shop, didn't have peach squash, so I was under strict orders to bring about six bottles of peach squash over. The things you do for your fabulous daughters. And then, um, oh, good old bit of WD kicking around there. What I'm actually popping around doing as well, good old silicon stuff, um, is I had um, I had a couple of these locks uh, the lock itself for the key um, getting really stiff in fact this one was one of the culprits going back a year or so ago just started to get really sticky the key in the lock um, so much so that I came to it after it had had a month or so layoff and uh, on the drive here and um, and the key wouldn't actually turn the lock so needless to say key slightly in fire in a load of silicon and uh, and it eased it up but since then I sort of go around I don't know about once every three or four months and just um, fire some silicon into the lock barrel there which just um, which just keeps it all moving as it should so that I don't get any more complete seize ups um, so that the key the key basically didn't turn um, this one's obviously chock-a-block 
25 meter cable there but then also um, still here because I occasionally hook up but since I put the solar on I haven't done but there's my short 10 meter cable that also runs and then three different lengths of hose a sort of 20 meter one a shorter one which is three or four meters and then a tiny piece that if I'm lucky enough to say pull up right alongside often as you come into sites you've got those taps there if I can get the uh, water tank um, clo up close to those then I just need that tiny little length of hose um, together with a gazillion different pieces of hose and why is it tell me why is it you buy that reel 20 odd meters of hose and you can never ever get it back onto the reel so that's where the that's where the remaining bit goes in there with all the other hose attachments tap attachments and you name it those two uh, then are our warning triangles should we be unfortunate enough to break down together with uh, obviously our um, first aid kit fluorescent jackets as well um, which are all those sort of French requirements for you to carry although it does make common sense of course to carry it whether you be in France or the UK um, because you wouldn't want to be stood on a UK on a hard shoulder of a UK motorway that's for sure um, and then finally what's gone in for the Europe is the um, European adapters for uh, for some of their hookup posts which don't take some do take the standard hookup plugs but some don't so this is um, this is the one that we've always encountered it takes this one and then you go back into your original original hookup cable and this one is a, a polarity tester very occasionally you can sometimes get the polarities different wired in the plugs in Europe so you can use this piece just to test the polarity before you start hooking the rest of the van up to it um, yeah and a bit more a bit more WD in there so that's the uh, that is the sum total of the lockers on the outside um, Nikki of course is IC of the inside of the van so we'll uh, We'll head in and see what she's been up to. I know she's been busy, busying away, going to and fro. So no doubt we've got a fair few non-perishables hidden away uh, and other bits and pieces. So let's go and see what's happening in the van. And it looks like Nikki is in there somewhere. So let's go and see what she's been packing as well. Somewhere in here she will be. Ah. Oh, hello. Young Nikki. <laughs> right, we're coming to see what goodies you've stashed away in the van. Yes, very exciting. It's all part of fun, isn't <laughs> no, it? No, it's not long now. It's not long not now. Not long now. You've got some stuff up there, have you? Yeah, so I'm oh. just checking around what I've put in here. <laughs> Biscuits, very Biscuits. important. Yeah, oh, then. and the all-important. Oh. They're not shoes. Those no. are not shoes. They're biscuits. Those are biscuits. The all-important drain. Oh, draining mat. Yes. Mat. Because that's that. a, yeah. I find yeah. it little storage easier. bin under there as well. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's put that back up there. Right. And we'll show you the rest of our have hoard. Some, have we got some goodies? Have we? <laughs> We've got some goodies. Oh my word. So yeah. these are vegan A's, so okay to go across the border. Oh yes, um, so yeah, non-dairy of non -dairy, course. Non-dairy, yes. yeah. Oh, good point. Um, and it's quite yummy to be fair. Yeah, I, I, I actually really like it. Yeah. And then some passatas, our teas, our oh. um, stock cubes, and then this side. Bit of tuna mayo coming on there, I think, isn't there? This side in these little Corn cubby Mary holes. Rose sauce, cool. Blimey. Oh yes, there's more. There's more. There's more bits there. Oh, some yes. vinegar and um, olive oil. There. Nice. Yeah. Everything you need. And what else have we got stacked in here? We have. Oh, look at that. Oh, chipsticks. Yes. Chipsticks. Oh, chipsticks. Oh, I'm just reminding myself. Well, I have a chipstick, haven't you? Yeah. So rice and some rice cakes and little crackers and bits and yeah. pieces in there. And. Oh, yes, our water. Oh, yes. These water bottles fit perfectly in there. We're very they do, lucky. Yeah. yeah. Two perfect fit in the slidey, slidey drawer. And all the uh, tea towels and bags that we need stacked in there. Gosh. Which is rather good. Have you stashed anything under the floor? I have, yeah. I'll show you that. Oh. I'll show you that in a second. But I have What's in it? stashed some bits in there. Oh, my word. So, Ribena. washing washing liquid, uh, Ribena, and uh, my other kitchen stuff oh. in there. All stashed. Oh yes, yeah. so I've st I've stashed something under here. <laughs> There's all these stashing places. It's great, isn't it? Yeah. Um, 
What's what have we got What's in here? here? What have we got here? here? We have got more chips. <laughs> yes, more chip sticks. Oh, and these. Um, oh, spicy sauces. Yeah. Spicy sauces. Um, Be lobbing them on the barbecue. Tea, like. pasta, naughty chip sticks. Oh yes. Um, yeah, lots Gluten of bits and free. pieces. Yep. Excellent stuff. Lush. Stash, stash, stash. <laughs> and. Uh, what have we got? Oh, you, we've got my. Um, I, I make my own granola cereal. Ooh. And uh, oh yes, no, not much sugar in talk that, a, which is good. We talk just talk about use, a box full. Yeah, we have <laughs> maple syrup and honey to sweeten it, and it's delicious. Mm, mm. If you need the recipe, then it comment is. in. <laughs> make a comment request in the comments. Yes, it's a really good recipe. That it's got mangoes in it. It's got um, cranberries in it. It's got um, obviously. Um, toasted almonds, oats, it Ooh. is delicious uh. and it goes wonderfully with yogurt <laughs> um, and it lasts, when you make a big big batch of it, it'll last us six weeks Yes, which is really good Yeah. Um, and then what have we got in here, oh we've got, oh yes the essential ah, fans yes. for when it gets hot, hopefully hopefully yeah, down the, the med, um, so I've got one that uh, fits a, an ice block Oh, and you've yeah. got an ordinary one, haven't you? Yeah, that was well. It's a battery one, that so it yeah. doesn't uh, doesn't need to plug in. Yours plugs in. Mine's just a battery free one. It was actually really good. I mean, yeah. we had what 30, 40 degrees, didn't we, in southern France last year? And it yeah. actually yeah. So just just both of those in the van yeah. actually kept it really cool, didn't yeah. it? Yeah, just moved so the air around good. enough to uh, to make things bearable. It was yes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what have we got? Well, oh yes, the essential toilet read toiletries. Oh my word! Uh, yeah. Bog roll. Enough bog roll sun to cream. feed an army. Don't forget your sun yeah, cream. sun factor billion. Being yeah. an ex redhead with not much hair, I need sun factor you billion. Do. So there's yeah. that. Uh, what else have we got? So oh, yeah, we've already put some clothes in. There's Bob's lovely yeah. shirts. He's put his oh. best shirts in, obviously. <laughs> and, something, uh, something to stay stay cool. And then we got some. Uh, what have we got in here? Oh, books, essential books. More shoes, or is that more biscuits in there? Not the shoes. I, I put in there. Oh yeah, my other shoes, my nice shoes. <laughs> um, yeah, books. Oh, and we decided to bring a DVD in case. Oh yeah. Just in case, you know. So we we've got to make it last six weeks, have we? Yeah, we've got cards for games. <laughs> yeah, banana grams. Oh, recommend that on tour. Oh yes, banana, banana grams. grams. You awesome haven't seen game. that game? It's yeah. A, yeah, it's a bit like Scrabble, but it's at a faster pace. Um, <laughs> fabulous. Um, the all essential table tennis balls. Oh yes. And uh, table tennis God, bats, yeah. which we love to try and because lots of the sites have those free table tennis places, don't they? And yeah. if you haven't seen this game. Oh, oh God, oi, oi. sorry about the books. If it's you haven't a seen this game, lunch. it's called Railroad Inc. Thoroughly recommend it. It's just oh, yes, a fun, it fun game. Um, it's all about sort of uh, drawing um, links and gaining points. And uh, yeah, you, if, you have to, if you look it up, you'll see what it's all about. But it's great, goodness. great fun. <clears throat> okay, so there's that. Put that back in there. Yeah, restart your books. Restart the books. And book a launch. Book a launch. Uh, what else have I got in here? Yeah, I've forgotten already. Oh, yes, all our swimming oh, stuff. Oh, my word, yeah, swimming kit. Swimming kit, essential. And a few... Which there might be a bit of in the med. We hope. We so. hope. And waterproofs, waterproofs. And that's about it. Waterproofs? Then. God, we don't need those, surely. We surely do. it's not going to rain. We haven't ordered any. No, and my clothes in there. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's it. That's well, it. That's it, is it? That is well and truly, Patty. Oh, yes, and of course. The all important laundry bag. Oh yes. So, so that's about it. Is we're sort off, of we are we're sort of full to the gunnels, aren't we? Yeah. Don't think there's yeah. much more to report, really. Full to the gunnels. Um, that's about it on our uh, stuff that we're taking. Yeah. Um, oh yes. I don't know whether you pointed these out, oh, but these look, these yes. are a new. A new. Well, you'd have seen when we were doing those doing the solar work and putting in the uh, inverter down there, but so we got these. Nikki found those in I where was it IKEA? Oh, I don't know IKEA or Amazon. I think it was IKEA, oh, it might have been it? IKEA. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so they uh, they they're really good for. That's it. Pop that out. It's a little magnet, isn't it? For your Crocs. Oh look! Look at these. Look. And down new there's a... Crocs. Nikki's got pineapple yes. Crocs. My other one's shrunk. 
<laughs> would you believe, in the heat. So they don't fit my don't fit me properly now. So well, I have to get some. It was very hot in France last year. Yeah, so I'm not going to leave these. We'll in probably the heat. be uh, punished this year for having it so hot last year. It's probably be the opposite. But anyway, let's hope not. Let's hope not. No. And the solar, the MPPT, is still ticking away there and doing what it should do. So, fingers crossed. A, it stays on the roof, and B, it carries on working. Brilliant. Well, we hope you found that useful. Storage. Yeah. One full van. That's a good yeah. thing about vans. There is a there's a nook and cranny everywhere to be yeah. able to put your stuff in. That's a, so. Or to be added, like those Fiamma pockets. Handy bit of kit they were. Yeah. So we are pretty well stuffed up, but probably there'll be loads more things that we'll then suddenly remember, or oh, we just need to put that in. And of course, we've got to put Peggy on the back as well. Oh yeah, the scooter. Hook up the scooter, so that'll be. Um, That'll be probably the day before we go. Make sure it's all strapped down. Blimey, that's the first time Peggy will have gone to Europe with us. Yes, absolutely. So come and join us on yep. our tour around France. We'll be doing a series of films. Mm. Um, Very much so, yeah. Presenting you with some wonderful scenery because we've pinpointed some places that we'd like to go and see. And uh, the pictures so far online look absolutely amazing. So mm. come and join us and uh, join in the travels. Yeah, searching for the sun. Take care, guys. Bye. See you soon.